welcome to part 3 of the Claymation Studio 2.0 tutorial. In this video, we'll go over adding audio and special effects to your animation. For this demonstration, in addition to my webcam and posable action figure, I'll also be using the built-in microphone for my laptop and a color background. First, I'll open up a project I've been working on and play what I've created so far. Well, without any dialogue or background music, I gotta say my movie's a little dull. So to liven it up a bit, I'm gonna add some dialogue, sound effects, and background music. To record or add audio, I click the Audio tab over here on the right in the Features panel. Typically, it's easier to add background music last, so I'll start by adding some dialogue. In this part of the animation here, I want my character to say, Be careful with that time machine! So I click the first frame down here in the storyboard where I want my character to speak. And then I click the record button here in the audio tab. There's a short countdown before I say my character's line. Be careful with that time machine. And as you can see down here in the storyboard, just above my frames, there's a green line indicating where the audio was recorded. Okay, now let's add a sound effect here. In this case, I'm going to use an audio file for my hard drive. That frame number is inserted in the Add Audio box. I click the Add Audio button to find and insert the sound effect. Now here's a tip. To determine how long a sound should be, you divide the number of frames you want the sound to cover by your project's frame rate. For example, if you want a sound effect to support 10 frames of animation and your project's frame rate is 5 frames per second, well then the audio should only be 2 seconds long. Let's finish up the audio for our animation by adding a background music track. Click the Open File button to locate the music file you want to add. Now there's no visual indication for the background music in the storyboard, but the file name is listed here in the Audio tab. When I'm finished, I can output my project as a video file in several different formats. Now let's create some frames with a background image added using the chroma key feature in Claymation Studio 2.0. From the viewer pane, you can see I've set up a green screen behind my character. Click chroma key in the features panel, then open the background image file. With the chroma key feature on, my cursor turns into a little eyedropper whenever it's over the viewer pane. I'm going to click on the green background and my character's transported to a new world. You can make some fine adjustments using the color mask sliders. And if the image is a little jittery, you can smooth it out using the soften image button. A quick click of the capture button and my character along with the new background are captured to the storyboard. Hey, let me give you a tip while I'm adding some more frames here. Choose a background color that's different from your character. For example, if your action figure is wearing green, well then use a blue background. Otherwise your character is going to disappear. You can get creative with the chroma key tools. Let's say I want to add a window to my set. I can use the Mask Area button to draw the window on the viewer pane. And when I double-click, I can see the background image through that new window. Well, let me finish up my short video and then output it to a WMV, AVI, or MPEG file. Well, that should be enough to get you started creating your own stop-motion animations using Claymation Studio 2.0. If you need more detailed information, read the user guide. It's included with the product, or visit honesttech.com. Oh, you want to see the completed movie? Okay, here you go. Careful with that time machine! Oops! Can't find the off switch? Well, just by shaking it! Oh, thank you. You've saved the day again. Yeah, well, what day is it now?